Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it was a really, really hard week for Chelsea Football Club as well as Chelsea fans. Uh, after that annihilation from Newcastle United 4-1 last weekend, and it was a very terrible uh, feeling, not just for the uh, club, the coach, but who, uh, you know, for the first time was really angry and he had to uh, publicly criticize the guys for uh, not playing at all in that match. But uh, it's one week right now, and although it's still very painful, but uh, Chelsea have been presented with a chance to try and get back to winning ways. And this one is against Brighton at home in Stamford Bridge. So uh, it's going to happen uh, today around 3 p.m. West African time. And of course, uh, Chelsea would be very desperate to try and get this, this one in the bag. You know, as regards to getting all three points. So but Brighton are no easy side at all. They've been a very difficult team to play against in the last two, two, three, four, five uh, years. Uh, but we had, we had, uh, we played them in preseason. I, I think we won that one, three, one. So, you know, it's a good place to start. And, uh, but it's going to be hard really for Chelsea because uh, they are obviously going to be a number of players that Chelsea would be playing without the likes of Rich James who got two yellow cards in the Newcastle game, uh, suspended. The likes of Kukurela getting five yellow cards. Get, he had previous four yellow cards and then got another one in that Newcastle game. So he wouldn't be available for this one as well. And uh, just a few days ago, you know, during training, there was also news that broke out that uh, Gusto will not be available for this one. So we have like three full backs now who won't be available. And that makes it a bit difficult uh, you know, for Poch to select his team uh, going into this match. So this might actually, you know, make us see the likes of uh, yeah, Martin fielding at the right wing back. And then Cole will, of course, you know, will play the three, which, you know, has been a position that he has been playing a while this season. The Sassi, I expect him to come back, uh, maybe pair with Thiago Silva or Thiago Silva sits in the bench. I don't see Thiago Silva sitting in the bench because... Uh, he, he would, although he made the mistake in that Newcastle game, but his experience would def definitely be needed. And then in the attacking areas, maybe Broder might just displace Jackson for the starting bet. But uh, that's, you know, how it is right now. Chelsea, desperate to win, need to win really because uh, it's been a disappointing show. Of but again, uh, if, any, if there's a team that can beat any team in the EPL, it has to be Chelsea team. Of though they are, you know, kind of like uh, volatile today, they are at their best tomorrow, they are at, they are, at their very low. But uh, let's keep our fingers crossed on this one. Uh, so, but I expect, like I said, uh, the likes of Jan Martin, who hasn't really been having game time, he obviously, you know, was considering moving away from Chelsea and refused to sign a new contract because of the problem of not playing matches. So, this could be his moment to actually start. We recall that when Cucurella, when things changed for Cucurella and he started playing games, it was, you know, when the opportunity came for him to fill out for Gusto and then he filled out at an unnatural right back and he, he played very well. That was when he started to feature in the game. So this could be Ian Martin's time to shine in the right back. But let's see how that one pounds out. I expect Kupama to play Sterling as well. And uh, uh, like I said, Broja. The three of them might be might lead the attack, and then uh, I don't know Galaga. Of course, I don't think there's any better option right now. So Galaga, Enzo, and Caicedo, and then in um, our in our in our in our, in our defense, Kowo, Silva, De Sassi, and uh, yeah, Martin. Then Sanchez in the post. That's my preferred formation. That's why I think Poch is going to deploy in this match. But let's see how this one turn, turns. Uh, you know in a few hours from now uh, that is the video right now guys and um let me know what you think about uh my formation you, you if you have your your own formation that you think uh, you know might be the best that Poch has to uh, follow you can also drop it in the comments and my score prediction for this one is uh i don't know but it, i think it's going to be a really hard match and probably just winning two goes to one maybe but let's see how this one turns out. Thanks for catching the video and uh, stay tuned.